السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته وستيل 1993 and in America nurses from America again what happened uh, uh, at that time we in, I think in July August uh, we wanted to make another visit to America to tour America at the time uh, after knowing that Islamic Tif had been registered in Los Angeles in California and it was myself and uh, Mr. Imran Madin, who was working in Muslim Aid, and then he decided to shift to come and work for us. And they talked with him, uh, him with me, to go to make this tour. At that time, Delta Airline, which is an American company, used to issue a one month free ticket, uh, costing about uh, 300 pounds, and allow you to tour the whole of the country. It's up to you to visit as many states and towns as you can, if you can and for this 300 pounds. So we planned with our representative in Los Angeles to make appointment in about 15 or 20 uh, states and to visit all of them. And it was a, like a, a, a nightmare and a marathon. Every day you have to be in a different city or different town or different state or any. And I think we managed to visit more than 20 states in this uh, um, uh, 30 days uh, in, in America. And uh, uh, there was no confirmation to our tickets, but actually we used to do the booking uh, beforehand by phoning. At the time, there was nothing called internet at that time. Or by sending, uh, I, I can't remember, I, th I, th I think it's by phoning. I think it's by phoning uh, at that time. Then to go to the airport, Early, very early. We used to book the earliest flight in the morning because nobody can travel it. And we used to wait in the waiting area till the boarding ended. And if there's one or two seats, two, most money two seats, two seats will be able to jump into the plane. And this was actually the plan. So it was extremely tiring, exhausting, but rewarding. And uh, uh, one day when we were in the airport and we were a little bit late to run to the gate, uh, I left my peanut uh, sack somewhere in, in, in the counter. And when we were checking in to go to uh, boarding, I realized that I don't have my peanut uh, sack. And I told him, I'm wrong. He said, what? He said, where's my peanuts? I said, I don't know. He said, please, I left it in the counter. Can you rush? Bring it. Said, We're going to miss the plane. Said, Don't worry. The plane is not going to go before we get the peanuts and go into it. And this was one of the more funniest experience between me and Amran that we are not going to board without our peanuts, as we are maybe a group of monkeys or something like this. Uh, the people are very, very well uh, receiving us in different states, from the New York to Los Angeles, and it's talk about Yanni. Uh, and the north and east and west, uh, very kind people, very nice people, uh, very good people. We used to sometimes say in, in uh, hotel or uh, not hotel, by hotel like guest houses, or sometimes we stay in the uh, houses of the volunteers uh, at that time. But uh, I realized there's a big difference between the young people, the culture of the young people in the state, and the culture of the young people in the in, in, in UK. Uh, our people in UK have got different culture because they came from the family of the working class. Solid, strong, traditional culture. And the young uh, men and young women in the state came from a different, uh, not a professional class, highly educated elite class, well off. So the people in America at the time were very well off and laid back and relaxing. And that's why I did not like to employ the first uh, representative of Islamic Leaf from the American soil uh, at the time because uh, we want somebody to bring this heavy culture from uh, Europe to America and because it's very fast, faster culture than the, the culture of uh, the young people in, in the state. And at that time, there was a fashion of the backdrop trouser fashion and most of those young people sitting there and their trousers coming down from the back and it didn't 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 attract me at all to think about putting the first representative from USA. 
So this is how we started to uh, look at who should be going to represent Islam at the day. And at the back of my mind and other people in, 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 in UK, before the end of the year, we sent Jangir Malik and his wife Shaheen. Then in 1994, we sent another one called Anwar Khan, and is now the current president of Islamic Leaf USA. Alhamdulillah, this is actually how we started in the USA and how we started before going to USA to register in the ECOSOC as well. I'll see you in the 1993 in another stop as well. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh.